Mic test one, two, one, two. Hello guys, uh, welcome back. Welcome back to Asian Petrohead. And uh, like we promised, we're gonna give you a shootout comparison between Ionic 5. This is long range model with dual motor system. And this is, as you guys all know, Tesla Model 3 performance with all wheel drive system. Um, so like we promised, we're gonna give you a quick comparison review. So we're gonna do this live. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And <laughs> I forgot to bring my phone, just stay there. <laughs> yeah, so if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And we do give you the quickest Korean review. So if you love Korean cars, if you love uh, electric cars, uh, let me know in the comment section. And uh, also subscribe and do like, hit the like button so you can support us. Um, so specs first, uh, this is Tesla Model 3 uh, performance. Uh, it's able to provide about 340 kilowatts, 639 newton meters of torque. This is actually a beast. Uh, it will do not to 60 in about roughly three seconds. To my right, we also have a Ionic 5 long range model. And by the way, range 315 miles. So big advantage in terms of the range, but uh, yeah. So uh, <laughs> Ionic 5, uh, dual motor system, long range with a uh, 72.6 kilowatts of battery, but you guys are gonna get it with 77.4 kilowatts um, battery. It's got dual motor system producing about um, 225 kilowatts, producing 605 Newton meters of torque. It will do not to 16 about 5.2 seconds around five seconds and this has range of uh, 269 miles so in terms of the performance um, and range uh, it goes to Tesla model 3 I know it's it's uh, more fair to compare it to Tesla model Y you guys also asked in the comment section yes this should be compared to model Y but we do not have it unfortunately and we have to return this car tomorrow. So before we do, I just really quickly wanted to give you comparisons. Um, but in terms of the design, let me know which one do you like uh, better in the comment section. This, this, uh, you know, one thing I like and I don't like about Tesla is they all look the same. Um, but it's not a bad design. If if you see from far, it sort of looks like a frog uh, Porsche design, a little bit from here and there, and. Um, it's simple, definitely very simple. Um, it also has a frunk up here. So then this is one another big difference. You pull this way for the Tesla. See for Tesla, you have a large frunk here. It's quite large, right? It's actually usable. You can put like a chainsaw or your ax, whatever. <laughs> So guys, do let me know what do you think about the frunk in the comment section. Um, on the other hand, Tesla, I mean, Ionic 5 has um, a bit of too large uh, Hyundai badge, I think. It could have been a little bit smaller, but it definitely has a pixelated design. It looks more futuristic than Tesla, in my opinion. So let me know. Blacked out here. Um, there's also a bar here that charges five stage uh, depending how much you charge and this also has an 800 volt charging system um, I tested it charges up to like 220 kilowatts so uh, compared to Tesla it's much faster um, Hyundai says you, you can charge this Ionic 5 from 10% to 80% within 18 minutes so in terms of charging and in my opinion in terms of the design it goes to um, Ionic 5. So let me know in the comment section. We also have an active flap here. Um, when you are charging, it opens. Um, and also, some of you guys asked me 
Can you use the AC while you charge because you're going to have to charge about for 20, 40 minutes and yes, you can charge um, and have the AC or heater on, okay? So let me show you the front. Front is a bit big loss for, big lose for Ionic 5 because, and look how we have a big island type. Look how big the hood is. It's really big. Um, yeah <laughs> yeah i don't know what to say it's, yeah if you this is with the dual motor system but if you do, if you get it with the river drive it, it gives you like twice much but still this is very get some fluids here washer fluid um battery for your battery i mean for the car and everything so i think they really wanted to um, give more space for interior so, yeah, let me know in the comment sections which front design you prefer in the comment section. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections. Um, so, yeah, Ionic 5 is sexy. Yeah, yeah, damn COVID, right? Um, what are the numbers on the Ionic? What are the numbers? These are for the license plate. Um, it's, it's blue. See, it, if you get regular car, it's white, right? This is diesel. Um, even if you get gasoline, it's just white. But if you get clean car, right? Clean energy car, you get blue. EV car. Yep. So any more questions? Model Y and Ionic 5. Um, Model Y. Model Y still has longer range. Uh, I think it will do Model Y, uh, long range model. I think they'll be neck to neck. Uh, I really wanted to give you a drag race between um, Tesla Model 3 Performance and Ionic 5, but uh, we really could not book the, uh, the race track. But let me know how do you guys like to see a drag race between Ionic 5 and Tesla Model Y. Um, uh, if you guys want, uh, we're going to try to really book a place, a uh, race track, and uh, try to book a press car uh, with my fellow Korean journalists and uh, give you a drag race. Um, so, let me know. Um, so, if you, you're asked, uh, this should be compared to Model Y, uh, even compared to Model Y. Model Y is overall longer, a little bit wider and taller compared to uh, Ionic 5, but Ionic 5 actually has longer wheelbase compared to Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. So I think in terms, we're going to show you the second row seats momentarily, but I think um, the interior should be a uh, win for Ionic 5. Okay, so. Ionic 5 has, uh, yeah, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, yeah. So, let me show you the car from, from the side. As you can see, uh, definitely this guy is taller <laughs> than Tesla Model 3. Um, and uh, overall, wheelbase is much longer for this Ionic 5. And roofline, look at it. And Overall, this has more like a sedan look to it, but this has a sort of like an SUV look to it. Um, like I told you, Ionic 5 opens this way. Tesla model opens this way. So I think they really want to go opposite. I don't know what's the deal, but it's, they open very opposite directions. That's something I really wanted to show you. Uh, let me show you these second row seats. Uh, from here and you guys know I'm about 6'2 and there's a good amount of leg room and headroom isn't so bad right but I think my head touched the ceiling and you know headroom is quite okay I mean I can live with it but <laughs> as you can see it's it's got no shade above on the top uh, even for Tesla Model 3 and um, I heard one of the uh, the viewers said uh, he drives a Model Y from Texas and uh, it's really hot and I can understand 
Why? And uh, but uh, it's it's got flat floor on the bottom, two air vents on the bottom, and uh, two C-type connectors and uh, tiny but two cup holders. Uh, really don't like to have the cup holder vertically like this because it gets in the way. So yeah, so yeah, so we have we have like shade suede in the middle, uh, frameless doors. Um, comes down not all the way so yeah it looks pretty good I mean I have no problem with that and let me also show you the first row seats as well yep so I like the fact that there's a one 15 inch screen in the middle I mean that doesn't bother me too much. Um, the interior, I think it's got much better than the uh, the Model S and first generations. Um, two two charging ports. I like that. I think that's that's pretty good. Uh, two cup holders. And it's uh, neatly done. I mean, it's pretty good. But some some of the things, uh, you know, you have to change your mirrors with these rear buttons uh, and glove box you have to press here some of these things <laughs> it's it's okay but once you get used to it uh, but uh, I really wish there was a little bit more buttons physical buttons um, and sitting positions is it's relatively nice um, it's quite comfortable but really wish there was <laughs> shade on the top so if you have any questions about the uh, Tesla Model 3 let me know in the comment sections yes Wayman uh, Wayman 002 we're gonna also give you a Tesla Model Y uh, hopefully uh, yeah and hopefully give you a drag race too <laughs> okay so uh, that was uh, the interior so now let me show you the second row seats or Tesla, not Tesla, Ionic 5. Okay, so you guys know I'm about 6'2 and there's good amount of leg room and headroom is plenty as well. Um, and look, there's a shade on the top, which is very nice. Um, air vents on the side two USB charging ports and like the fact that this actually moves up and down. Um, cup holders. So, so in terms of the uh, interior, they also give you side shun shade, uh, two stage heated seats. Window comes down like pretty nice. So um, I think uh, interior uh, from the second row seats is winner for Ionic 5. Okay, um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. And now let me show you the first row seats. God, it's hot today. <sighs> so uh, rather than having two, uh, one, one 15 inch screens, we have two 12.3 inch screens. Um, you know, I. It's got good graphics and we have enough physical buttons and dials on the bottom. So I kind of like this better. Um, we have a dial type gear selector right here. Um, no Hyundai logo. I think that's uh, pretty good too. <laughs> and yeah, physical drawer here. And we also have a, you know, ooh, side distance mirror, but uh, it's only offered here in Korea. So like, I said uh, you can certainly use the flat floor on the bottom so yeah definitely I think it's a wind for Ionic 5 in terms of the interior okay so have any questions from Ionic 5 let me know in the comment sections oh and some of you asked me Korea some of you asked me how is the seat from the from the ground. So I brought this uh, I brought this 
No, you have to be on this side. So some of you ask me like, how high is the seat? Okay. So brought the That's really hard. We need, okay. I'm gonna need this guy. So that would be approximately about 69 centimeters. Roughly 68 could be 69. So, but I'm 6'2", um, if you're worried about headroom. I mean, I'm 6'2". It's pretty good. Yeah. So, if you have any more questions, uh, both cars do have uh, large trunks. Because this is a performance, we have a carbon spoiler on the bottom. Tesla, dual motor system, clean on the bottom. And good, good usable trunk space for both of them. And big hump, big uh, space on the bottom. And you can also fold the second row seats. Like this. So I would say, you know, this Tesla model is very, for 